14 years of hard work, dedication, from a small gym in Bray, to small shows in front of 10 people, 50 people, selling out Irish stadiums and arenas. There's only one piece left of the puzzle, and that's that lanky string of piss O'Mary. You are the most athletically gifted champion we've ever had in an OTT ring. Is that where your confidence comes from? I've got not much to worry about, man. He was hand-picked. He didn't work for that championship. And to be honest with you, I think he's the most mediocre OTT champion I have ever seen. Just because the title win come out of the blue hasn't been a one-trick pony thing. Like, I literally defended the belt four days in a row one weekend. On Paddy's weekend, in my hometown, in Dublin, there is no one that will match the snake. Omari is the world champion, but he's not the top guy. For the past year, I've been the top guy. I'm the guy front and centre on the posters. I'm the guy carrying these shows. I'm the guy with the merch queue around the corner. I'm the guy people pay to see. Just because we're in his hometown doesn't necessarily mean that he'll walk into the National Stadium as a big threat to me. And it doesn't mean that he'll walk out of the National Stadium as OTT World Champion. Do I know I can beat him on my own? Yes. When I beat him, Mary, scrap a mania, and I become the first ever OTT Grand Slam Champion, I will cement my legacy. I bleed Irish wrestling. The snake is Irish wrestling. I've done it before, and I'll do it again. I solidify myself at the top of the mountain, and I will become the OTT World Heavyweight Champion. Scrapper Mania, the National Stadium. Paddy's Weekend. Do not miss it.